Welcome to part four of the PowerPlay series where I will be talking about control, the act of maintaining systems already under your control and how to undermine others. Ensuring your power has plenty of command capital every cycle is vital. You can fortify control systems to reduce their upkeep for that cycle, leaving more for your power to spend on expansion attempts. This also reduces the chance of your power's command capital going into the red. Targeting systems that are bringing in a low amount of profit is a good place to start. You can see this information easily in the galaxy map using the power play view along with the control mode. This highlights all of the power's existing control points and their profitability based on red being low and green being high. To fortify Zevioso, I need to deliver garrison supplies to one of its starports. I can only collect fortifying goods from Hudson's HQ, which is the Nanomam system. I then deliver this to the target and hand in to my power contact. The ethos your power uses to fortify a system will be affected by the type of government in control of the system and all exploited systems, making the success trigger for fortification rise or decrease. As well as fortifying, you can also attempt to undermine rival power's systems. If successful, this will cause upkeep to cost more for one cycle, thus lowering their overall profit. If both fortification and undermining succeed during a cycle, they cancel each other out. Undermining a power aligned to the same major faction as Hudson is similar to opposing expansion. I travel to the target system and steal cargo from the transport ships. To undermine a power not aligned to the same major faction as Hudson, I destroy the transport ships found in the target system. I then hand in both vouchers and cargo to a system under Hudson control. Rival powers can also undermine your controlled systems. Check the control tab to see if any rivals are attempting to undermine you. Note, different powers have different methods of fortifying and undermining. Ensure you check the control tab for more information. If a power ends a cycle with a negative command capital value after paying upkeep for control systems, it's in real trouble. When this happens, systems immediately fall into turmoil, starting with the highest upkeep systems. When a system falls into turmoil, it no longer requires its upkeep to be paid, effectively increasing the power's command capital by that amount. Systems continue to fall into turmoil until the power has a positive command capital for the cycle. When a system is in turmoil, it's at risk of revolting and shaking off control completely. Any control systems in turmoil at the end of a cycle where the power is running a CC deficit will revolt and become uncontrolled as will all of the systems it was exploiting. For more information on how to fortify and undermine systems, please check the control tab. Remember, preparation, expansion, and control tasks happen simultaneously during the cycle. Use the information that the various power play screens give you to help balance your activities and keep your power in a position of strength.